Hi everyone, Chrissy here with another video. This time I am doing a video on our sleep journey. Uh, I wanted to go over how we originally started sleeping, um, getting into a sleep routine, and then how I went ahead and um, transitioned us from co-sleeping to him being into his own bed and uh, we are on our fourth night now of sleeping all the way through without the cry it out method, no fervor, nothing like that. Just my own personal things that I have come up with that worked amazingly and I wanted to share them with you guys. So let's get started. Um, okay, so I first came home, we first came home with our baby and um, right away, first child, terrified to put him down anywhere alone, just just new parents and scared of everything. We ended up sleeping downstairs on the recliner and we had him um, either in like the bassinet next to us or in one of his, um, uh, I have like a rocker <clears throat> that actually props up into like a mini bassinet in front of us. Um, he was very fussy, which I think a lot of babies are when they are first born. Um, they cry sometimes for no reason. If you are breastfeeding, sometimes you think that they're not getting enough milk because they're crying at that point. That's another video that I definitely want to get to because there's a lot of great breastfeeding advice I feel like I have for you guys. Um, anyway, they're just fussy and you're new and neither one of you know what's going on. So we stayed downstairs for, I would say the first, I'm going to say five weeks. I think it was about, actually it was probably a little bit longer, maybe six or seven weeks, um, that we stayed downstairs. Finally, it got to a point where I told my husband, this is ridiculous, we're taking shifts, neither one of us is even getting sleep when we are sleeping because we're just with him constantly. Um, and it uh, really just wasn't the way I wanted things to to start going and start progressing. We needed to, to move on from that point. We needed to get into an actual sleep routine where we could get some sleep and he could um, start to sleep on his own, you know, be put down and, and sleep on his own comfortably. I went ahead and I invested into the docatot. Uh, I feel like that was the best decision for us. I do not regret it. I think it's an amazing product. I absolutely love it. I probably would end up using it again, or I would end up trying to go into the crib directly. Um, if there was a second time around, but the docatot is absolutely amazing. I went ahead and went into the second bedroom, guest bedroom I have, with my son, and that is where we slept every single night for the next couple of months. I'm just throwing figures out there for you. Um, I'll get um, technical <laughs> in the description below of when I stopped. Um, so we went into the, sec the second bedroom. I had the Daca tot next to me, okay? Um, it worked great, I feel like, for fussy babies. It's it's very cozy. It kind of like almost snuggles them. I had it next to me. Um, he did not have any blankets. I had my separate blanket that would not go over him. You know, I tried to make it as safe as possible. I know co-sleeping is not something that everybody agrees with. Um, again, this is just my personal journey and what worked best for my family. <clears throat> so we used the Dakota and that worked well for us for a while, but I found what I was doing was I was, um, going into old habits, right? Easy enough. So I was nursing him and I would let him fall asleep on me very much. So fall asleep. And then I would creep him into his Dakota next to me. <clears throat> excuse me. And then I would go to sleep next to him and he would wake up <clears throat> a few times throughout the night. Um, it was still tiring. You know, we were, I was getting more sleep, 
than I was originally, but it was just, it was still tiring. And I read about all of these other stories where, oh, well, my baby's sleeping all the way through and this and that and the other. So I said, um, let me just go ahead and do some research and do my own investigations for my baby and for what works for us. See if I can come up with a better plan. So um, I read some things and then I did some things on my own and I also kept a personal journal of what worked for us each night. Um, basically what I did was everything that we did that night and this goes into when he started eating solid foods as well because that carried over when I did bring him into his, um, into his crib when I got him switched over. So getting him, getting him to lay in the dock longer and on his own. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure that he knew that was where I was putting him. So if he did fall asleep on me, I would go ahead and I would put him down. And when I put him down, if he did not wake up, I would slightly wake him up. So I would just kind of give him a little brush like on the bottom of his foot or just on the top of his head. Just something to kind of arouse him a little bit and then let him fall back asleep just so he kind of knew where he was. And I, you know, I wasn't putting him down completely asleep. I feel like that worked um, and it helped him know his surroundings and know, okay, you know, this is where I'm sleeping. And it also helped him kind of fall back asleep on his own without making him, letting him cry or anything like that. So again, this is what worked for us and he did wake up a couple of times throughout the night. Obviously, um, if you are breastfeeding, a lot of times breastfed babies do wake up more than non-breastfed babies in the middle of the night. So that's just something that you're gonna have to deal with pretty much no matter where they're sleeping. Okay, so fast forward on to getting him transitioned into his crib. Um, what I did was I started to develop routines and I did this when we were in the in the in the guest bedroom with the docatot as well um, I feel like routine is very very important and that I did read and watch everywhere um, just a couple of different things that I did um, that I feel like worked for us the journal like I talk about um, be aware of what works for your baby so some babies, in other words, baths, some babies get woken up by a bath. It doesn't make them feel like, oh, calm and, oh, this feels so good. So if your baby is like that, then maybe you want to get the bath earlier in the day or earlier in the routine and not, you know, towards the end. Just be aware of what works for your, for your child. Uh, another thing that we do is, um, I do like to give him a massage. Uh, I feel like if you are aware of all of their senses, they will sleep longer. And what I mean by that is if you have a stuffed up nose when you go to bed, you sleep like crap, right? I mean, you can't breathe. You're sleeping in the middle of the night. You're like this. You sleep with your mouth open. You end up snoring. Maybe you end up waking yourself up from snoring. So be aware of all of their senses as well. Some babies may like it completely dark in their room. Some may, may like a nightlight. Some may like a noise machine. Some may not. Um, some may have dry skin or eczema like my baby does. And you wanna make sure that they're moisturized before they go to bed because you don't want them waking up because they're itchy somewhere. Um, some may also have, um, maybe are more, um, ah, why can't I think right now? <laughs> maybe they um, have ear problems or possible ear infections. Make sure that the, you know, the ears are clean. I don't, I don't recommend, of course, putting anything in there, but just be aware of all of your baby's senses. Um, make sure that their nose is completely cleared out before they go to bed. Make that part of their bed, bedtime routine. You know, use the little, the bulb or the nose Frida or something. Check in there every single night when you're putting them on, you're putting their good night diaper on. Um, <clears throat> use a good night diaper. It's very absorbent. Um, that'll also help to not wake them up so they don't have a, a, a leak or it feel uncomfortable down there. That could wake them up. 
just be aware of all of um, their senses. That's the best way that I can put it. So that's what we started to do. I kept the journal and I just tried different things, um, different nights. Be aware of the temperature, if it's cold or if it's hot um, in the room. Do they like to wear short sleeve? Do they like to wear long sleeve? Do they like to wear the pants or the full on pajamas? Um, I just took notes every single night of what I did. This is what he ate. We had a bath or we didn't have a bath. And then there were things after a while I realized, okay, this is working, this is not working. Um, so what's working for us right now is um, I bring him into the bedroom, whether he has, has a bath or not, I bring him into the bedroom. I don't pound him with food either. Like that's just not something I agree with. I just, if he's going to wake up in the middle of the night because he's hungry or because he wants to nurse on me, then he does. You know what? It's not going to last forever and it's going to be gone before I even know it. So I'm just, I'm not a, a fill them up with rice cereal or put any kind of food in their bottle type of person. Um, I give him his regular dinner. Um, I breastfeed him. You know, we come upstairs and I change him into his good night, his good night diaper. Um, I put his many any medicine on if he has any eczema breakouts anywhere I put his anti-itch lotion or just the Vanna cream is really great just full of moisture moisture him all up so he doesn't itch in the middle of the night I check his nose and make sure his nose is cleared out because he gets a lot of boogies and he's always like breathing you know I can hear sometimes he has a hard time breathing make sure his nose is cleared out um, and then outfits was the next thing that we started to go through um, we went through long sleeve and footed pajamas for a while. I realized after a while that wasn't working. We moved on to short sleeve and footed pajamas. That was working better, but it still just wasn't doing the right trick. So I pulled out the, um, the Zen sack, the Halo Zen sack that I had from when he was a baby. And I used it a couple of times, but again, newborns are very fussy anyway. So I said, oh, this doesn't work. And I threw it to the side. I pulled out the bigger one that I had the 6 to 12 months and I put it on him. Now he sleeps on his stomach so the weighted um, little birdie in the front goes on his back. And I started using that four nights ago. Tonight will be our fourth night, if he goes through the whole night, of sleeping all the way through. <laughs> that sack alone has probably done wonders but I feel like it's everything else that I've done also combined. Um, another thing we do is we don't use the white noise machine. He doesn't like it, but I do have a um, humidifier in his room. Again, I mentioned he has very dry skin. I use a humidifier in his room. It makes a little light watery noise. So it's kind of a little calming noise that he has in there. And I also switched out his night lights. I had a night light that was, I guess, a little bit too bright. Now I have just his light up moon that I use in there. It has a dimmer on it. It also has a timer on it. So I go ahead and let it end up going off after the first hour. And then the room is pretty much completely dark. This is what I found that he likes. Obviously not everybody, every baby is going to be the same. Um, but it's been a long time coming so I just wanted to make a video I mean if there's any possible way that I could help any mom out there I would love to just share what we've been through so far um, I think that oh another part of the the night routine that I wanted to say was we also um, make it a point to say good night to every one of his um, stuffed animals or certain objects around the room. So like the night light, the moon that I talked about that we have, we I go up to it after he's done getting changed and his lotion and his Zen sack. As soon as he knows that I'm putting on that Zen sack, I think he knows that, you know, it's getting ready, it's pretty much time to go to bed. So we go up to the moon and I say, good night moon. We say good night to the moon. And then we say good night to his stuffed animals. And I say, um, Good night to his humidifier, which is an elephant. So we say good night to the elephant. And then I look at him and I say good night to him. I say good night, Calvin. And I touch him because touch everything on the head. I say good night, Calvin. 
and we say good night mama and lately now he's getting so used to it that he actually touches me now when it's time he's so sweet uh, he touches me now when it's time to say good night so he knows you know he knows this routine we've been doing it for a while now it's instilled in his brain and um, it just helps every part of it helps him realize okay it's becoming time for bed a um, couple other quick tips you can do the first hour um, the last hour um, before the bedtime maybe you want to start dimming lights you want to start letting them play but like quiet playtime not with loud light up uh, toys things like that um, just kind of start to wind everything down just the way that you would you know if you're up and you're watching something full of action on TV you can't really go to bed right away after you know you kind of want to wind down so same type of thing um, but just try to come up with a routine and um, do a journal give yourself a journal of everything that's working for you um, actually you won't know what's working for you just write everything that you do every single night down and then what you'll do is you'll look back to you know like four or five of those nights and you'll be able to see well hmm it seems like this happens on every night that's not a good night I need to nix this and I need to try something else um, if you have any questions please let me know leave them in the comments once again me and my rambleness and a mess of a video I have I uh, no uh, no plan whatsoever I, I swear I was gonna write things down and make this video and I didn't but we know this so <laughs> if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and I will see you guys on the next video bye